So can you summarise the history in, in a couple of sentences to me? Okay, so I've seen Celia with her mum today. Celia's an 11-year-old girl who was diagnosed at age 6 with type 1 diabetes. She now has an insulin pump and it sounds like she's managing her diabetes very well at home and is confident with the management of both hyper and hypoglycemia. Okay. What else would you do as part of an annual review? Um, so it would be important to think about what to do a full general examination, but particularly focusing on the eyes and the feet. Um, and also checking weight and growth um, and um, taking some basic blood tests to check renal function. Um, and as she has a pump, it would be important to check the pump site and the pump functioning itself. Yeah. What do you know about insulin pumps? Um, so insulin pumps are a new way of managing um, blood sugar control in type 1 diabetes which are starting to replace um, subcutaneous injected insulin and do tend to lend um, very good control. Um, in terms of their monitoring they need to be um, parents and children need to be educated by often by a specialist diabetes nurse when the pumps first start to be used. Um, obviously they need to report any signs of infection or the pump being blocked which might manifest itself as dysregulation of the blood sugar. And they also need to rotate the sites um, for the needle um, every three days. Okay um, and how would you, um, what would you advise her if her apple juice didn't bring up her blood sugar and she was calling you an a &E. um, So I think it would be important for her to get medical attention there and then and probably to call an ambulance or at least get an, an adult around. She obviously needs to have some more sugar um, and ideally in the form of both something that's quick release like some more apple or orange juice and then something slower release like a starchy carbohydrate. Um, obviously sometimes this isn't possible so hypostop oral gel can be used. Um, an ambulance crew might also use glucagon injections. Um, but essentially, if she had a hypo that was not responding to treatment, I'd get her to call an ambulance, ideally. Okay, thank you.